Hi, I'm Todd Perella from Siemens PLM Software. Uh, the way that Realize Shape works is you start with an initial uh, product form, uh, a subdivision primitive, or some of the options available to you. Uh, once that subdivision form is uh, in the model, you can then begin using the transformer to start pushing and pulling the shape. Uh, the transformer is really the tool that you allows you complete freedom to sculpt and start uh, getting that initial product size and scale uh, set up so that you can then do more things uh, down the road with, this tech, with, this, with the functionality. Now that we have the uh, initial product form sized and scaled appropriately, we need to add levels of detail and refinement so that we can start sculpting and shaping the product. One thing you may want to do is apply a symmetric modeling constraint where often products are, are built symmetrically uh, around a center line. You also uh, will likely need to add levels of detail into the model and we do this by splitting and subdividing faces uh, of, the, of the subdivision body. Now the value of this is that it gives you the, the refinement and the level of detail that you need to further sculpt and refine this product shape. You can see here um, that as subdivision modeling tool set, it allows you to evolve this form in a much more free form manner than you would ever be able to do using traditional surface modeling techniques.